blind to the, to the male bosses of the ISA. She tremblingly wrote, quote, I am still trying to come to terms with the fact that we froze and didn't confront him for making a joke about the women's lingerie department in an elevator. Okay, they launched a full investigation of Liebau. Why? Because here's what Liebau did. She wrote to him and he wrote back, quote, I certainly had no desire to insult women or make you feel uncomfortable. And then he suggested that Sharoni, who was born in Romania and raised in Israel, might have misinterpreted his remark. When he was young in the 1950s, he said, it was a standard gag line to ask the elevator operator for the hardware or lingerie floor as the one were in a department store. And then he wrote, like you, I'm strongly opposed to the exploitation, coercion, or humiliation of women. As such evils continue, it seems to me to make sense to direct our attention to real offenses, not those that are imagined or marginal. By making a complaint to ISA that I consider frivolous and I expect will be judged this way by the ethics committee, you may be directing time and effort away from the real offenses that trouble us both. But this was the big problem, right? Why was this a problem? Because he was doubling down. And not only that, he was mansplaining. He mansplained to the gender studies professor. You must never mansplain to a gender studies professor 